The day I meet Beyonce is the day I will faint and die, honestly. Hey guys, my name is Ruben Demade. I am a 14 year old makeup artist and today I'm gonna to be doing a nice glam makeup tutorial for you using W7 products. So let's get straight started. So I'm actually gonna bake, but before I do that, I'm just gonna make sure the face is even. So I'm gonna use the W7 Lift and Sculpt palette. It's like a cream contour and highlight palette. So now I'm gonna take the Banana Dreams Loose Powder. This is my favorite, and I'm pretty sure everyone's favorite loose powder. Um, it is so good. It has a nice yellow undertone, so it's really brightening. I started doing makeup when I was scrolling through YouTube videos when I was really bored, and um, I came across like DIY videos, and then I started watching DIY foundation. So I made my own foundation using my mum's bronzer and her moisturizer and thinking it would be the best product in the world and uh, it wasn't. <laughs> but um, under that video there was a recommended for all um, makeup tutorials and beauty gurus and then I like discovered this like whole world of makeup and I was just drawn in. It was so like I think I got attracted to the personalities of the people behind the screen too. When I was learning makeup um, a couple years ago, I would watch Nikki's tutorials as my main one, so talented. Um, Jeffree Star, Patrick Star, I mean, Tati Westbrook, there's so many people, and I love that they all do different things as well. I am 14 and I am still in school, um, which makes life 10 times harder, but um, it's so, I, I mean, I like it because it's kind of like a distraction in the day. There aren't a lot of boys in beauty. Um, it has been on the rise and it has been getting better for Boys and Beauty. But now I'm with W7 doing the Here Come the Boys campaign um, that we're doing and they're really going to bring diversity to the makeup world and make sure that everyone gets a fair chance with their boy or girl and we're all equal. And then also with my eyeshadow I like to kind of round it into the brow and down the nose um, because it kind of just creates that line for um, nose contour and mix stems down my nose a bit. I probably do my makeup at least a couple times a week. I mean, I am in school in the day. I don't, really, I don't do my makeup for that. Um, so I don't normally do my makeup when I get home, but always on the weekends um, and some nights. I mean, it depends what I'm doing, if I'm in the mood. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the product. It's an eye primer from W7. It's called I Got The Power. Um, and it just, this will just make your eyeshadow last longer and also act as a base for the eyeshadow to come on top. Oh my god, my friends always ask me to do their makeup and whenever we go somewhere, I'm doing everyone's makeup and then I'm last to get ready and I look the worst. Um, and they all look really nice. And I'm just like, oh great. But no, I like it. I like, because I think I do my makeup all the time, I'm used to my face, it gets like boring. So when I get through other people's makeup, I get to look at anything. If I really want makeup to look good, I'll watch a makeup tutorial while I'm doing the makeup. I love watching Scott Barnes' tutorials. I'm going to use the Absolute Lashes Mascara by W7. I'm just going to roll. I like to roll on the eye rather than like just place. I do sing, yes. Um, I love singing. I always have. Um, I definitely want to do loads of singing as well as makeup. Oh my god, my favorite product ever. So I'm gonna use the Honolulu now. I think if you really wanna get into do makeup or do beauty online, I think just blow them, posting lots of pictures of your makeup, like it could be once, once a day or three times a day, like 10 times a day if you really want to, you know? Um, just so you can really like expand what kind of makeup you do and get started rather than like, just having a couple posts, I think having the most more posts the better. So I'm going to take the Glow Commotion Glow Highlight, and I love how like I have a yellow sh yellow sheen to it, yellow undertone. Okay, and my big tip for highlight as well is bringing it on the actual cheek rather than on top by here, because that's the cheekbone by there, not by here. So you'll think that's where you put highlight, but it looks really weird too as you put it there. She was so stunning. 
I'm gorgeous. Um, that was really funny because everyone always asked me afterwards, um, like, was it staged? And I was like, no, I wish it was because I would not have been that cringy. <laughs> I think I was so cringy on that. But yeah, that was so, that was amazing. Oh, well, I mean, I can look forward to meeting them, but it's never going to happen. I mean, the day I meet Beyonce, the day I will faint and die, honestly, I, I will faint, I will actually like faint on the floor. Um, like, I think anyone would if they met Beyonce, I would like bow down. Um, I would though, that's a thing. Like, I love you, my queen. Who wears too much highlight? I mean, there's never too much. I mean, unless someone can see you from space, it's not enough in my opinion, so. Okay, now this is my top tip. I'm gonna grab, this is make the eyes bigger. I'm gonna grab um, one of the really light shades from this palette right here, from the Lift and Sculpt on a flat brush. And then I'm gonna put it in my waterline. So now my eyes are like a Barbie doll. Well, I think they are anyway, I hope they are. Um, um, I'm gonna, I think we'll move on to the lips. I'm gonna go with the Skinny Lipping. And this is in the shade off the wall. I think if you're a guy wanting to get into makeup, it is a bit harder because it's out of that norm. Um, and I think just do the same thing as you would normally do. Um, and because I am, I am doing this campaign with W7 here from the boys, so I'm hoping that this campaign will bring diversity and equality to makeup, to genders and makeup. And um, I feel like there shouldn't be any boundaries because it's kind of like art, but on the face, you know? So yeah, that's how I feel. Like, I think you should just do the same thing and try not to let anyone stop you. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, wait. Yes. And then I take around like 300 pictures to get the right one.